हेलो एवरीवन सो अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑल अबाउट द ग्रुप थ्योरी एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम फिजिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू मेनली फ्रॉम द क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स एंड पार्टिकल फिजिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट द ली ग्रुप एंड दिस इज नेम्ड आफ्टर द सोफियस ली हु इज नॉर्जियन मैथमेटिशियन एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रुप and in the physics mainly in the quantum mechanics we we are just uh, using this particular group for example you have rotational operator you have all angular momentum of operators so all these operators belongs to lie group for example so3 su2 all are belongs to this particular lie group so i am not going into detail mathematics of that rather what i am trying to to discuss is all about use of this particular lie group and the basic property in a quantum mechanics or in general physics so we have a these are unitary group so lie group is the basically sub group of the unitary group so they are unitary group and you can define with some parameter del phi where del is very small so then what you can write you can write this as a its generating function so this will be identity plus i del phi s and where s is the generator of this particular u that is your group and that is the lie group so if we have this kind of situation you can easily write if this del phi is very small then we can have this phi upon n where n tends to infinity what is the meaning of that we are just going for the very small change in angle suppose you are talking about the angle suppose here angle is our parameter so this del phi is what is that is the complete angle and you are just dividing it in a n part so and then n tends to infinity then you are just talking about the infinitesimal angle so this is all about definition so if we are using the calculus then you can write this whole thing as u phi is equal to 1 plus i phi s upon n to the power n where n tends to infinity and once you have this particular thing then you have u phi and what is u phi you can write this u phi as exponential i phi s and what is this s s is basically identified as generated generator of lie group generator of lie group this is basically generator of lie group and we are very much interested into the generator of lie group so how we can if some group is given such like u5 then what is the generator this is the very important thing how you can get this particular generator so how we can get this generator so this generator can be defined as s is equivalent to minus i du upon d phi so this is and obviously at the phi is equal to 0 so this is basically defined as the generator of lie group u and this generator will follow a very basic commutation property in general you will find that this type of commutation property can be found with uh, your angular momentum algebra your spin algebra so this will find as something like sj sk is equal to levisita tensor and i time is also that is j k l and here we will get sl so the generator of lie group will find will satisfy this particular uh, relationship of the commutation or you can have of their own multiplication so this is your basic property so we can understand all this thing with one very beautiful example so let us try to go to that example maybe this can came into your exam also so let us try to go for that so what i have suppose i have a rotational matrix and this rotational matrix is all about rotation about x axis with a parameter phi suppose this is our rotational matrix so if this is our rotational matrix then we can represent it as a matrix form and this value and hence it is all about the x axis rotation so it can be given as 
you have cos phi, you have sin phi, you have minus sin phi, and you have cos phi. Suppose this is your rotation matrix with the parameter phi. Then what we have to do, we have to find what will be generator of this particular rotational matrix. So this is a very simple thing. So now what will be generated? So we have to find this S and you can easily check. This is just orthogonal matrix or you can say this is also a unitary matrix. So this will belongs to some particular group and we can uh, basically and we can find basically the generator. So how you can get the generator? We can find minus i drx upon d phi at phi is equal to 0. So let us try to go for first what will be drx upon d phi. So this is your drx upon d phi. When we are going to the differentiation, you can just do the simple differentiation for each and every element with respect to phi. So this is all about the differentiation of this particular matrix. So what you have? You have 0, 0, 0 and this value is 0 minus sin phi. That value is cos phi and this value is 0 minus cos phi and this value is minus sin phi. And now what we have to do? We have to find del drx upon d phi at phi is equal to 0. So what will be this matrix? This matrix is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 and we have 0, minus 1, 0. And this is our matrix. Now what will be your basically this uh, generator of this particular rotational matrix? So rotational matrix have generator minus i and this drx upon d phi and that value is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0 and similarly that s can be written as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus i, 0 and you have plus i and 0. And you can see, if you will see this particular block, this particular block is nothing, is just a poly spin matrix. You can just have something like poly spin matrix. So this will be just tell you how you can get the generator. Obviously, there are n number of property for the Lie group. I am not going into detail of that because that is for the mathematics and very abstract uh, theoretical uh, point of view. But when we are talking about the quantum mechanics and the physics, this information is more than enough than how you can generate a Lie group and which is actually a unit, the Lie group is basically unitary matrix and they are actually subgroup of unitary matrix. So in the next video, we will talk about different examples of Lie group, for example, SO2, SO3, SU2 and SU3. And these are very important. What are the main property of all this? So stay tuned in our uh, this particular series of group theory. It will surely help you in different examination. Thank you.